Taking a look today at the GPU na pinaka pinag-uusapan sa 2022. Not this guy. This guy, the 1630. If you're into computers, you already know about the 1630. Now, the nicest thing you can say about it is that its performance is faster than a 1050. But that's not saying much considering how old the 1050 is. Itong 1630, linabas lang noong 2022. It's a pared down 1650. So mas mababa pa performance niya sa 1650, which came out around two years ago. And even then, nung linabas yung 1650, hindi ganun kaganda yung price to performance value niya. So maraming nagtataka ngayon, para saan pa ba NVIDIA tong card na to in 2022? But we're not looking at the 1630, or more specifically, we're looking at the ASUS Tough 1630. Does that matter? Does that make a difference? It might. Of course, all of those chips are the same. Pare pareho lang naman yung 3060, 2060, 1630s. But all of the third-party brands put their own spin on the cards. Paminsan may better cooling, better power management. So performance can vary between the different cards of the different manufacturers. So yung tanong ngayon, does ASUS have some secret sauce that can redeem the 1630? Let's find out. A stock 1630 isn't really that great, but we wanted to see if we could squeeze a bit more out of it with some overclocking. We ran the 1630 through three different programs, and there are really no surprises in the results. Stock speeds on Shadow of the Tomb Raider 1080p high settings, we got an average FPS of 31. With the overclock, the average FPS was 32, so negligible. On 3D Mark Time Spy 1080p at stock speed, the GPU score was 2130. On overclock, it was 2313, so a slightly below 10% gain. Finally, on Valorant at 1080p high setting, stock speeds got us a max of 224 FPS with an average FPS of 173. With the overclock, we saw a max of 236 frames per second and an average of 182 FPS. So, of course, you do see a gain with the overclock, but it's a mild bump at best. So as you've seen from the numbers, not even ASOS, who I really like reviewing their products of, can quite redeem the 1630. Even with the overclock, there's not much of a performance gain. And as already mentioned by previous reviewers, medyo cool lang talaga sa performance tong 1630. Although the ASUS card in particular does have some features which you might need in a limited use case scenario. For instance, it doesn't need any additional power. All of its power draws from the motherboard that might be useful in some situations. It also has three ports. So it has one DP, one DisplayPort 1.4, one HDMI 2.0B, and one DVI port. So it might be handy if you're using a multi-monitor setup, which I really recommend you do. Sobrang dagdag yun sa productivity mo. So the 1630 is an easy card to pop into a low power system to get a marginal performance boost in some games as well as to allow you to have a multi-monitor setup. But to be honest, it's really hard to recommend it at its current price of around 10,000 pesos. If you can find it for second hand at a cheaper price and it fits your use case, baka pwede pa. But for the vast majority of people, you'll be better off looking elsewhere. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.